you might be wondering who Kilroy is. This mysterious drawing became an iconic American expression that spread across Europe and the Pacific during World War II. And it represented confusion, humor, and even hope. The legend begins in the early 1940s at a shipyard in Quincy, Massachusetts, where warships were in mass production. It was James Kilroy's job to tally and record the number of rivets inserted into each section of the ship's hulls. As the laborers were paid by the amount of rivets they inserted, James would meticulously count them and put a chalk mark next to each block that he inspected. This was to ensure that the rivets were not double counted. But some men would erase the chalk marks, hoping they would be counted a second time by another inspector, which would result in double pay. After receiving a tip from his supervisor, James soon caught on to their deception. He continued to mark the completed sections with his chalk, but added the inscription, Kilroy was here, along with an image of a bald, long-nosed chap peering over a fence. This let the riveters know that he was watching them. James's new method had worked, and the duplicity was halted. As pressure mounted to get ships out of the yard and into action, many were left unpainted, but Kilroy was here was still visible on the ship's interior walls, and it could be seen by thousands of men aboard the vessels. Soon it became a popular calling card, as troops began to scribble it on walls, rubble, and machinery. Wherever they were deployed, Kilroy was there. Some say after learning of the graffiti, Hitler thought that Kilroy was an American super spy. And it was also rumored at the Potsdam Conference that Russian leader Joseph Stalin emerged from a newly constructed outhouse and asked, who is Kilroy? By the time the war ended, Kilroy was here could be seen scribbled in some of the most unlikely places. Legend has it that Kilroy is etched on the Arc de Triomphe, the Statue of Liberty, the top of Mount Everest, and even in the dust on the moon. By war's end, Kilroy had become a heroic GI and a rallying symbol for the American war effort. Whenever the slogan was viewed by soldiers, their morale seemed to be heightened. Kilroy, inadvertently, may have contributed to the Allied victory and lives on today as folklore.